This is the Bulgarian Riviera, the western coast of the Black Sea. This coastline stretches from the border with Romania to the border with Turkey and it is 378 kilometers long. We are going to explore it completely from the north to south and we will visit most of the interesting points on the way. Follow us in this trip and subscribe to our channel Journey Beyond the Horizon. Now we are here again at the starting point of this coastline section. The first stop in this section after Bochik is Albena. Albena is one of the most beautiful Bulgarian seaside resorts. Now it is empty and the weather is cool, but maybe this is a better opportunity to enjoy its beautiful beach. And this is Bautata, a natural reserve of wild swampy forest, just right beside Albana. The next point on the coast is the village resort of Kranevo and the best of Kranevo is its beautiful beach. Here we stop for a while south of Kranevo to enjoy the beautiful view of the northern Bulgarian coast. Further south is Zlatni Piaseci or Golden Sands, one of the largest Bulgarian seaside resorts. Now it is empty after the high season. But there is a very interesting place on the plateau above the Golden Sands. This is Alajam Monastery, a unique rock hewn monastery full of mysteries. Alajam Monastery was established in medieval times, although the place was used from ancient times before that. It is in two floors that consist of a rock church and rock rooms for the orthodox monks and hermits. After Alajam Monastery, we descend back to the sea coast. Our route passes through another big resort called St. Constantine and Helena. And soon we reach the main point of this section, Varna. This is Varna, the largest city at the Bulgarian Black Sea coast and the third largest in Bulgaria. The city has several thousand years of history and today it is a popular sea resort not only for the Bulgarians, but for tourists from all over the world. Our journey starts from its older part called Taliana. Here we can see a lot of old houses built in classical architectural style. Many of them dated from the beginning of the 20th century and some are even older. Today most of these houses are used for government offices and some of them are turned into museums. This is the Roman Thermi, the ancient Roman baths. 
This place was once an important public center for the ancient Romans. The aristocrats came here and enjoyed the baths with their pools and other facilities. At that time the city was called Odessus and it was one of the first Black Sea coast cities conquered by the Roman Empire. And these Roman baths were the fourth largest in Europe. Since the history of Varna is long, we can't skip one of the most important sites of the city, the Archaeological Museum. Here you can see artifacts from thousands of years ago. And one of them deserves special attention, the discovered goat of Varna, which is the oldest in the world. Now let's visit the Seaside Garden, it is another symbol of Varna. The Seaside Garden is a long park along the sea coast, separating the city from the sea. It is a beautiful place. Besides the calm alleys for walking, there are a lot of attractions like the Natural Museum, the Varna Zoo, the Aquarium, the Planetarium and the Dolphinarium where you can watch dolphins play. Now let's take a look at the sea. Varna has many attractions, but the sea is definitely the most important of them. There are several beaches that are full of tourists and local visitors in summer, and still very beautiful in the other season. This is Port Varna. From here we go on a short boat trip in the Bay of Varna. During the trip we can enjoy amazing views of the city, the surrounding coasts and the endless blue waters of the sea with its waves. We back to the coast and discover one of the hidden secrets of Varna. This is the ruins of the medieval Saint Holy Mother Monastery. Its story takes us back to the days of the first Bulgarian Empire. Now let's go west of Varna. There are two lakes, Varna and Beloslav Lake. And here at the coast of Beloslav we can see an old submarine now turned into a museum.
But the most famous point in this area is a place called Pobiti Kamani, the stone desert. This is an amazing phenomenon of karst stones, probably formed millions of years ago, when this place is considered to have been a bottom of an ancient sea. Later, this sea was drained and these stones were formed in the process. As a result, today we can see a fantastic landscape of stone pillars on a sand surface, about 20 kilometers far from the Black Sea coasts. The last area of interest is located south of Varna. Here, in a place called Janavara, you can see the ruins of an early Christian monastery. Let's take a look at Varna from the southern coast of the Bay of Varna. This is the area of Cape Gauta, an iconic point south of Varna. Nightfall is coming and we make some nice photos of the sea coast at Gauta Beach. From here, the coastline proceeds straight southward to more and more beautiful and wild coastal areas. You can see these beautiful places in our next video. So stay with us in this Bulgarian Riviera video series and subscribe to our channel Journey Beyond the Horizon for more amazing video journeys.